Hello from Robotics Creations and we have the new remix of Otto DIY version 13 and 12 and I've added a Lego sliding top which also can as you can see take Lego and you can have uh, hats as well which just slide on the top this is quite easy to print as well. It's printed upside down. This is obviously down and printed. So we try to solve those problems with the printing as well. We have the two legs which are version 13 Auto DIY, which is what I'm making today, which gives you more space for sensors and modules like the Bluetooth. And these are slightly more robust, they're a little bit bigger and they be marked right and left for the feet. The reason why is when the bigger Otto moves, it can get unbalanced and fall over in the normal feet. So we've made them bigger and more robust. So you should be able to do plenty of dancing with those feet. The Otto has ultrasonic eyes which are great for triggering um, Otto and those are the eye holders so that's the last of the 3D printed parts we start off with a Nano that's been fitted to a Arduino extension board Nano ex extension board this is a lead and remember when you purchase this make sure you get this and this is the mini USB to USB A that connects to your computer. I use these servos for the feet, legs and feet. The reason why is I find them most reliable. These are DF Robot SER0039 and I just find these work better than the these one which are meant to be knockoffs from Tower Pro MG90S but they work just as well both are metal good it's just that I've had a better success with these so you can actually just type it into Google and it will find you a supply in your country I've also got two screwdrivers the reason why is these legs to fix the feet servo it's this smaller round shank screwdriver to fit in to put these fit this screw in there to fit the servo foot and then you've got the standard screwdriver which I find useful to reaching and connecting Otto's Arduino brain now we have a new modification in that I'm using a rechargeable battery which is 9 volts 650 milliamps and it can be charged using a micro USB the old um, mobile cell phones cable so you put those back into use and then it's plugged in on that clip and we use the 5 volts to JST I've actually made these up and connected this JST end so that has gone into what we have is 5 volts and ground I find this a very useful way of preventing uh, students from placing these cables like the power into ground which has caused these nano chips to heat up and if they're left long enough they can destroy the whole nano board we also have a buzzer it's just a simple buzzer but you can make it sound like Star Wars themed tunes which the new Otto Bocchi has programming them coding sorry then we're not the new Otto Blocky so there's a new metrics LED metrics for the front which slots in to the very front of Otto in here okay so everything's been made to fit the battery of course the buzzer and cause the server legs and now we've got 
easy way of putting that matrix in. Okay, so I think that's it. They're all firm. Um, so now we're going to start building. Oh, by the way, these are what we will be using the servos. These are for the legs. These are for the feet. In your four packets or four servers, you will have enough screws. So it's eight long screws. Four small screws to attach these to the servos. And I've additionally got these other screws, uh, which are slightly shorter to attach this to Otto's head. I just find these easier to use. Um, so that's that for now. We will now start building.